Hey guys, John and Gus here with Bud Audacious Barbecue. And our video will instruct you how to cook competition quality barbecue in your backyard using gear that cost under $100. The gear and methods we will demonstrate today are identical to the ones we won a second place trophy at the Memphis and Bay Barbecue Cooking Competition. And as much as Gus and I love ribs, we will be cooking an American favorite today, pulled pork. So sit back and learn our award-winning methods. For years, we made our own marinade and rubs, but today, convenience rules, and we now use what we found we like. Step one is injecting the butt with a marinade. I inject the butt at least 24 hours before cooking and keep it wrapped on a tray in the refrigerator to avoid a mess. Remember, always keep it clean. After the butt has rested in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours, it is now time to apply the rub. Remove the butt from the wrapper and generously apply the rub, working it into the pork. Then apply mustard. Pork loves vinegar and mustard is loaded with it. Mustard also adds flavor to the bark, keeps it moist and helps hold the rub. Step two is lighting the fire and discussing our gear and techniques. Guys, we use an identical grill smoker when cooking competition or in our own backyard. Always remember, low and slow. Low heat, extended cooking time, and separate the meat from the fire. We use four empty cans around the charcoal grate an aluminum cookie sheet sitting on top of the cans and 4x4 four four inch bathroom tiles in the cookie sheet. The aluminum pan separates the meat from the fire. The tiles insulate and hold the heat. We also add aluminum foil over the tiles for ease of cleanup. Again, we use store-bought items such as charcoal and wood chunks. Note, use wood chunks only and soak them in water for at least eight hours. Step three is lighting the coals using a chimney instead of fluid to avoid any chemical residue. A chimney works by placing paper in the bottom and charcoal on top. Light the paper and the charcoal will be ready to cook in 20 to 30 minutes. After the coals are hot, dump the coals, spread them evenly, add wood chunks, put the aluminum pan in place, add the grill, and put on the bun. The cooking temperature is controlled by the flue, so we open our air inlets 100% and adjust the flue opening accordingly. Using a thermometer in the flue, Adjust to about 225 degrees and cook for three hours. After three hours, you will need more charcoal. So add directly on top of the hot coals and cook for an additional three hours. Step four is where we deviate from competition cooking. After six hours of cooking over coals, we remove the butt and wrap it tightly in aluminum foil placing it in an oven heated to 300 degrees for two or two and a half hours. You can cut slices in the bottom of the foil to let some grease drain, but make sure you put it in a pan. Finally, 
After two to three hours, and right before your guests arrive, remove the butt from the oven, place it on the grill rack, and carefully remove the foil. With your friends gathered around the grill, pop a cold one, open the top, and watch their expression as you reveal the best pulled pork they have ever eaten.